right, this is Shane with Vested Interest back again. Welcome everyone. We're going to record this one. Looks like uh, there was an issue with the first part of the video again, so hopefully this records well. And as I said, this is Shane. Before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who's watched, taking the time to comment, like the videos, and a special thanks to those who have subscribed to the channels. Over 230 subscribers. The channel continues to grow daily, weekly. Really appreciate everyone who has joined this journey. I hope you are on your own journey to the financial freedom and that the information that I provide will help you get there faster. For those of you who may be stopping by for the first time, on this channel we focus on a passive income investing strategy by buying stocks in good companies that pay dividends. It's not rocket science. In my opinion, the best way to do anything, keep it as simple as possible. So it really boils down to buying uh, stocks in good companies that pay dividends, consistently investing dollar cost averaging into growth stocks and growing companies with positive cash flow that covers the dividend and companies with a high return on their invested capital. I utilize both a dollar cost average approach, consistently investing into stocks within the portfolio on a bi-weekly basis at a minimum whenever I get paid. Usually it's every week. I also cover my weekly purchase uh, purchases in a Sunday video, so go ahead and check that out as well. I cover all my investments into the portfolio on this channel. I do not have a paid Patreon account. It's all out in the open for you to see. I don't ever intend to have a paid Patreon account. We all have enough to pay for, so it's free to see what I'm investing in, what I'm selling, all the activity within this particular portfolio. But if you'd like to help the channel, drop in a comment down below, liking the videos, hitting that thumbs up, definitely subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell help out tremendously. I also have a link to my Weibo account in the description down below if you're looking to start your own investing journey and open your own brokerage account if you use that link you'll get some free stocks i'll get some free stocks no uh no pressure there you don't have to use it you can just open your own account hopefully you have one uh, with that said we are going to take a look at hewlett packer hpq here whirlpool ticker whr and Best Buy, ticker BBY, and HP is in the information technology sector. Whirlpool is consumer discretionary. Best Buy is also consumer discretionary. These are the three stocks potentially to buy or throw in your watch list for September. Let's look at them one by one. First up, we're going to take a look at HP Inc., ticker HP, in the information technology sector, down 2.84%, at least whenever I recorded the video, you know, we're about midday here. 52-week uh, range as low as $26.11, as high as $41.47. This is one that I added to my portfolio this week, so you'll see how many shares in the video on Sunday. It does have a market cap of $28.868 billion, and with its current price of $27.90, it is uh, pretty close to that 52-week low. This is one I've set the price around $28 per share, and I am perfectly comfortable if this continues to drop to continue to build out this position. Does not have a beta, uh, so I'll have to look into that, why that is, but you can see there is a little bit of volatility here. PE ratio extremely low at 5.10. It has a forward dividend, $1 paid out in the yield year. They do pay out quarterly, so that's 25 cents, about 3.22% yield. And obviously if they continue to drop, that yield would increase. The ex-dividend date is coming up, so it, just building out this position until September the 12th will provide me with the dividend payout, the next one coming up. And then according to Yahoo Finance, they have a $33.81 target price for this stock. Next up, let's take a look at Whirlpool Corporation. They are currently at $153.57, ticker WHR, and this is in the consumer discretionary sector. Again, another one down on the day. 52-week range as low as $145.93, as high as $245.44, market cap of $8.347 billion, a beta of 1.56, so more volatile than the overall market, a P.E. ratio of 13.43. They have a forward dividend of $7 paid out in the year, divide by four, that'll give you the, the payout, I think it's about around $1.16, and a dividend yield of 4.47. They do pay out quarterly as well. X dividend date just uh, missed that last one, August 25th, 2022. So we'll have to wait for the next one on that one. And this is, again, another one I recently added to my portfolio. Perfectly happy if this continues to pull back towards that 52-week low, adding and building out this position as well. Yahoo Finance has a one-year target of $197.40. That's Whirlpool. And our final stock 
to watch, throw on your watch list, potentially buy for the month of September is Best Buy Company, ticker BBY, another retailer. Uh, they are in the consumer discretionary sector and 52 week range as low as $64.29, pretty close to that low currently, a high of $141.97. This one is not in my portfolio, but it is on my watch list and has been for a while. A market cap of 15.699 billion, a beta pretty similar to what we saw with Whirlpool 1.52, and a forward dividend of $3.52 paid out on the year. Real similar uh, dividend yield as well to Whirlpool at 4.46. X dividend date, the last one was June 13th. They should have one coming up in September, I believe, but we will see uh, when they adjust that. And according to Yahoo Finance, they have a one-year target estimate of $80.05. Best Buy is one I'd love for it to pull back, uh, continue to pull back, and maybe even set an all-new 52-week low, and then I might look back at this one. But it is one to watch for this next month. Again, pretty volatile, maybe uh, one that continues to drop, and, and uh, if you're interested in something in the consumer discretionary, Best Buy and Whirlpool are definitely two that I am looking at. Like I said, Whirlpool I did add uh, this week. So, And that are those are the three that we are looking at for this month i will say a few others uh, johnson and johnson if it continues to pull back uh, procter and gamble is one i'd love to see continue to pull back and also uh, uh, union pacific is one i'd like to build out the position in so if that one continued to pull back as well but currently procter and gamble and union pacific are a little on the high side both over 20 pe's last time i looked so i'd like them to get back down under 18 and then i could build out those positions as well so as always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, suggestions for future topics. Uh, drop them all down in the comments below. Let me know what stocks you're watching for the week of Sept or the month of September or what you're adding, what you've added this week. Always interested to know what's going on with your portfolio as well. Uh, with that said, this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great uh, holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend coming up. Be safe out there. We'll see you guys this Sunday. Go ahead and check out what we did with the portfolio. We did add a significant amount of capital from uh, some of the profits of the sales last week, and as well as adding new, uh, new capital to the portfolio as well. All right, that's it for me. Thanks, guys and gals. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk and lose money and should never invest any amount not comfortable losing. Always do your own research, but based on your situation, circumstances, and select criteria or seek the advice of counsel of a certified financial advisor.